I remember the Easter event in 2022 for Tower Heroes. It was around the time that Metaverse Champions happened, and Tower Heroes was lucky enough to be included in the event. And it was a really good addition. Tower Heroes outshowed everyone in the event. They were doing sparks, while all the other games that were doing it either did it decent or really bad. Like, I remember one of the games was like, oh, color tiles, oh, show the color, run to the color. And there was like RNG in it or something, I don't know. Because it was around that time when Roblox really had a slop issue, if you know what I mean. With most of the games just being generic, boring, and just like really bad and just obvious cash grabs. Like Pet Simulator. And what made the Tower Heroes one stick out is it had an entire map, three map rewards, an entire new hero in the game. And it was a really good hero at that. Because when Sparks came out, it was overpowered to shit, alright? Every map I haven't beaten by then, I beat it with Sparks. Also, to clear something up, you can still get Sparks, and it's very much easy and free. Well, not really free, it still costs 400 coins, which is annoying. But this shows how good Tower Heroes did in such a big Roblox event. Which makes it all the more unfortunate to see that Tower Heroes is not in any more Roblox events. The Hunt had horrible game selections, okay? Cheese Tower Defense. AI Garbage. Tower Defense Simulator, but I didn't play that one, so I can't really tell. Also, Cheese Tower Defense just fucking sucks. It's just really sad to see Roblox favoring these horrible games. Over Pixelbit, which has been around for years, and also created a bunch of, like, really old, really big games, like Where's the Baby? And also Frosty Mountain, I guess, which had a Ryan Story review video. But instead of the hunt, Tower Heroes did their own thing. Lil Chip Apocalypse. A uh, really funny thing they did, because they are, uh, they pretended like they were gonna be in the hunt, which was just a really funny prank to do, not gonna lie. Um, but instead we got Lil Chip Apocalypse. Which, not gonna lie, was really good. It was pretty difficult and a, and a pretty good thing. Uh, with the free UGC and all, but UGC's been ruined since. And there's probably never gonna be another Tower Heroes UGC. Now, although Little Chip Apocalypse only had one skin, it had a bunch of, like, new enemies, but they were all just Little Chip, I guess. But, hey, really cool. And although it wasn't a part of the actual event, it was so awesome and one of the best things there was to come out of the hunt. Also, it was already being made before the hunt, so. And those aren't the only events Tower Heroes competed in. Well, not really competed in for the hunt, but kind of did, I guess. Instead, Roliday. On January 1st, I was doing a stream hunting for the Battle Mimic because of the update the night prior. And what I didn't know, they also were in the Roliday. Which is really cool. There's a whole thing on, like, how to beat it, but now it's easier to because it's just in the special quest section where you also find El Goblino and Sparks. But hey, it's still awesome. Three skins, all of the enemies and boss followers are free because guess what? Collab stuff is free. Also, an entire puzzle and map. Which, like, tell me that isn't way too much effort for a event that's not really that big and not even made by Roblox. Like, come on, you gotta admit, that was awesome. Now, why I bring this up is because in the Roblox Classic event, guess what game's in it? Cheese Tower Defense. Actual garbage. So, although Roblox does acknowledge that Hilo did get in first place in the hunt, and also did a really good thing during the metaverse, which is partially the reason Sparks won, it's kind of annoying to see that they don't get anything from Roblox. They did get a few toy scents, but... Again, those are never coming back, and like most Roblox games, they just resort to doing their own merch, which I buy all of. I'm an addict. But yeah, this is just kind of a rant video, because like, Tower Heroes could have, like, should have been in the classic event, but unfortunately, I don't see that happening. Especially because they already have two maps in the game that are like so retro, Disastrous as Hell, and Build to Survive, and also all those skins that go with it. But honestly, if it was in the classic event, they'd still find something awesome to do. Also, most of the games in the classic event aren't even classic. They're just a bunch of, oh, new shit. Like, Garbo. Like, cheese tower defense. Alright, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Bye.